<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Something a little different. We are in central Oregon, and well, behind us you can see quite the structure made out of obsidian. And well, there's some glass there. We are at Peterson's Rock Garden. We're at Peterson's Rock Garden. We're going to walk around, talk about it, look at the stuff. This is a place that we went to how long ago? Five years, six years. Five, six years ago. Um, and this might be one of the last times you get to see it. Uh, currently, this place is for sale. Pending. Pending. So, who knows what the future holds for everything that you see here. Hopefully, it gets restored back to its uh, former glory. And uh, let's walk around and look at some rocks. I think it'll be interesting. There is a museum. I don't know if that's open, though. It's quite cool. I can imagine this would be very impressive to see um, lit up at night. There are lights inside it. I mean, if you're looking for something to do with all of your rocks, that's not lapidary. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe this is it. It's quite, uh, so what? We have just, like, black obsidian and then, so, like, some more mahogany obsidian and then just your standard volcanic rock here, which is cool. Man, it's hard to uh, really do it justice and, and capture it. And this is just like the, the little parking area. It's a shame to see these kind of like uh, interesting roadside um, attractions kind of just go away. This is just lava rock. <laughs> That's a cool piece of obsidian. It's got some neat sheen to it. There you go. It's just like a big formation. Like, oh. It's that stuff up high in there. It almost looks like slag. That stuff. Yeah, up there it almost looks like a slag. That looks like uh, the stuff from Hampton, Hampton Butte. Some opalized wood. Very cool to see. <laughs> the pieces there. Very, very colorful. Hmm. That's kind of neat. Looks like basalt with uh, was it like a pet almost like a petrified nut in it. I've seen stuff similar to that, but yeah. Looks like you've got some calcite down there. Quartz. Rock Garden was started in 1935 by Rasmus Peterson. He settled on this land and started building all this stuff out of rocks. And he built it for about, looks like about 20 years at least. I mean, it's a good use for a bunch of rock. <laughs> this would be so cool in its, uh, back in its prime. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, lots of just uh, volcanics, obsidian. You can just kind of see the, the scale of the some of the piles. Yeah, it's very cool. Hey. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's very cool to see. It's uh, definitely, <laughs> everything is obviously overgrown. All the water features are, are drained. If you ever wanted some inspiration for a building with some some rocks look at that that is so cool and it's like yeah they're all, all such great pieces yeah i mean yeah look at that 
Very cool. I mean, even just to like make a bench, like a garden bench would be very a very cool thing to do. You want to walk through the walk up? Let's walk up here. Look at that. Oh, that piece of Arizona petrified wood. Look at that color. Very awesome. Piece of Wonderstone. I mean, just the, the effort of relocating all of it, too, is yeah. impressive. Really big pieces. Yeah, they're big pieces. This stuff is a little less less cool, probably. <laughs> Although there is some nice obsidian. We have a cellular replacement on that petrified wood. Some uh, quartz on it. Man. Great. Statue of Liberty. Let's look at the base, though. Let's look at these rocks. Nice uh, geode there. Lots of petrified wood. Lots of similar stuff throughout the throughout the property. But even that, just like having the base covered in river tumble uh, quartzite, is pretty cool. Now, when we were here before, I don't think we ever walked over here. It's kind of a sad little bridge. And uh, what is remaining of the fountain? I think this was a fountain at one point. And then it got filled in with dirt, and now it's just kind of a weird, weird little thing out here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Some little jaspers. Well, what do you think, Sarah? Decorating ideas? Yeah. Yeah. You definitely need a lot of rock. Hey, I know there's some rock hounds out there that have like a hundred five gallon buckets of just junk. Not junk, I take that back. Of, of, of rock. This is a great use for all of your stuff. You can start mortaring it all together, make something neat. That bridge, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know, do we trust the bridge with both of us on it? There's some really big geodes in there. Okay, let's go look at those. There's another bridge down there if you want to go there. I mean, the size of this petrified wood is crazy. Look, you can see the, the rings in that. There's a few things in this bridge that look like they were sliced, but really most of it doesn't look like that. Yeah, oh, hey. Sliced. But most stuff yeah. looks like it's just kind of the rough or Oh, yeah, those are cool. Look at that. I thought there was an outlet in here. I was like, that's cool. Oh, it's just <laughs> set. Side. Yeah, what is that stuff? Um, that's a good, very good question. I do not. I mean, that's. It doesn't look. No, like I, I almost wanted to say it, it was a slag earlier, but I'm very not. I am not sure. I mean, obviously, that was used for holding rocks at one point. Like, that was a thing. Let's, uh... Let's go. person across the street here is, uh, cutting their, cutting their grass. This 
so many little banded agates. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, he, uh... So much work went into this, you know? Yeah. And it's just... And it looks really good, like the rock in the corner or whatever. Yeah. Some structures that you've seen that are rock in order, and you're like, that doesn't look good. But this does, it always really good. So you can do it a lot. I'll plant her with a ring of uh, yeah. Richardson's Ranch Thunder Eggs there. I mean, it's very cool. Little guy up there. Yeah, I, th I, th I think. Well, I think it ends on their little island. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah, piece of little stained glass. You too could have your obsidian bridge. Thinking of you, Kyle. World of Rock Hounds. <laughs> so that's gotta be 12 foot. It's gonna be 12 foot up at the top. Yeah. These. So cool. Petrified wood. Yeah, I mean, look at the size of that. That's crazy. That agate there. Those dendritic mossy bits. <laughs> well, uh, I wanted to show you the museum, but um, it looks like they are closed. So no more, no more museum. What a shame. What a shame. Um, I wanted to show the museum and there was a sign saying, come back at one. And uh, it's 340 and while they're, they're closed. I don't and I, think they're going to be back at one. Yeah. I asked, and uh, I was just, the guy didn't really want to acknowledge me. He was just like, Ugh, it should be there. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right. Well, that was a somewhat sad and depressing look at the Peterson's rock garden, or what remains of it. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting to see kind of this, like, decrepit former roadside attraction. It's quite a, quite a shame, the, the disrepair, but uh, who knows, maybe the, there'll be a buyer and maybe it'll be, uh, be able to be restored and come back to its former glory. Maybe it's just in transition. Yeah, maybe. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed a look at the Peterson's Rock Garden. So it's actually been a couple of days since we went to Peterson's Rock Garden and it's just kind of reflecting upon the experience and uh, maybe I didn't do a good job of conveying some of some of it while we were there and uh, you know generally speaking uh, the content that I put here on the channel I want it to be always positive you know good good content I say nothing but nice things or I don't say anything at all however this will not be one of those videos if you do not like this type of content please click away go watch another video I have 350 plus videos of nothing but nice stuff to go look at and listen to. All right, 
So uh, for all of y'all that are still here, uh, share a couple of things. Uh, maybe it wasn't really clear. Um, so me and Sarah, we went there five years ago and it was in much better shape than it was when we went there right now. Um, there's obviously been, I think, a, a huge amount of decay. Um, I had a conversation with a, an older gentleman there uh, when we were walking around and he recalled Peterson's from when he was a kid going there and having all these great memories and coming back and seeing it in its run-down, dilapidated state, and it's sad. It's sad. Um, there's a lot of opinions and stupid things being said on the internet uh, about Peterson's Rock Garden and the current operators. Uh, my un impression is that the guy that I talked to um, is the boyfriend of the granddaughter of Peterson, and uh, it's shameful. It's a shameful thing to see. People uh, take this beautiful place that had swan boats that was absolutely amazing in every way and just let it decay, let it become garbage. Um, you know, uh, the, the boyfriend that I spoke to there, um, obviously I didn't see him shooting heroin or smoking meth, but, um, you know, he gave off strong junky vibes and... Uh, looking into his eyes it was like there's nothing there it's like looking into the eyes of a fish you know uh there's life but there's nothing nothing of substance coming out you know um sad my hopes for uh peterson's is that well two things i hope that either somebody buys it and bulldozes it into a giant hole and you can uh put a, a gravestone on uh the peterson's garden roadside attraction rock hounding history or or what i really hope is that somebody buys it and they can actually restore it back to its former glory uh, possibly make it like an airbnb make it something that people can still come and visit you know if the latter which is what i really hope for um and maybe the future potential owner is watching this uh reach out to me please um i can help you locate the rocks that you need to restore the place everything's Central Oregon. I either know where that material came from, I know somebody that does, or get yeah, those things. Those things, I will figure it out for you. I will help you make the place amazing. Once again, I can help physically. I can help mobilize people. I can do everything short of buying it. <laughs> uh, in the ideal world, I'd be able to reach in my back pocket and dig 800K out, but that's not happening, everybody. Um, well, uh, I'm going to put this video up ASAP. Um, it's uh, the 11th of July. Uh, my understanding is that it is still able to be visited. Um, so, you know, um, go go check it out and uh, take it for what it's worth and uh, maybe see it one last time. All right, everybody. Um, next video is going to be back on the saddle. We're going to be doing rock hounding stuff. It should be good. It'll be a different vibe to it all. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.